Hello everyone, this is Eagle Al. Um, in today's video, I want to cover um, how fat is removed uh, from your human body, like um, proportionately. Um, there's a lot, a lot of misperceptions about um, how it gets removed from your body. I don't like where the camera is. Okay, um, I got an analogy that uh, I came up with today that I think will be a perfect way for people to understand how fat gets removed from the human body when you're on a, a fat loss program. Um, so basically, uh, you know, a lot of times people will say, I got a big old belly. I want to get this fat off of my belly. Like as if you can pick one part of your body and say, that's the fat I'm removing. Um, and then people talk about uh, spot targeting fat. Like I got this fat on my lower arms. I, I want to do something to remove that fat. And that the spot targeting fat does not exist. And uh, people who so-called experts that try to tell you that you can spot target specific parts of your body and, and just work on the fat in one part, they don't know what they're talking about. Run away from that channel. Go to someone who actually knows their stuff. Um, like, and another thing is people think, let me do some sit-ups because I need to get rid of this belly maybe see my abs one day. Well, sit-ups does nothing specifically to remove fat from your belly. You are you are um, exercising a muscle, okay? Um, you are burning a very small amount of calories. All you're doing by doing sit-ups is over the course of time, you're strengthening your stomach muscles. You're not really removing that fat. If you do 500 sit-ups, you know, maybe you've burnt 30, 40 calories, 30 maybe, okay? Um, <clears throat> it's because you're moving, okay? You're going to burn just as many fat uh, cells on your belly doing sit-ups as you're going to doing a chest press or bicep curls. Um, there's no such thing as spot targeting. Now... Here's the analogy that I have, which will make it a little more clear how fat is removed from the human body when you start the process of, of fat loss. Okay, picture this. You got three separate piles of snow. You got a pile of snow that's very, very small. You got a pile of snow here that's only an inch high. Let's say you've placed it in a big old, you've just created a big old block of snow outside, an inch high. And then over here, you've created another pile of snow that's 10 inches high and then over here you've created a pile of snow that's three feet high you got three different piles of snow it's cold outside okay now as you're doing fat burning you're doing more and more fat burning think in thermogenics heating up exercise burning energy burning you're using energy you're burning calories calories is a form of energy you know think heat energy um okay so in comparison the temperature outside slowly starts to rise. It slowly starts to rise, okay? As that temperature gets above freezing and slowly rises and slowly rises, <clears throat> sorry, um, <clears throat> all the snow begins to melt. All the snow is in the same general area. It's in the same yard. Now all of a sudden it's 50 degrees. The sun's out. It's 51 degrees. It's 52 degrees. The snow, all three piles... They're slowly starting to melt. Now, this big old pile of snow that represents where you have the most fat, which on a guy a lot of times is right in the belly. On a girl a lot of times it's right in the hips, hips and belly or legs. <clears throat> the pile of snow that has the most on it, the whole yard is the same temperature. The, the pile where you got the most snow, it's not just going to suddenly, boom, a whole bunch of it's melted. What's going to happen is all of the snow in the backyard it's going to slowly start to melt a little bit at a time. Here's all three piles. All of the snow is slowly melting a little bit at a time. The area that has the least amount of snow, it was already small to begin with. So as it's all melting, the part that only had a little bit to go, boom, it goes from a little bit to now there's like no snow. Boom, it's gone. That's representation of the area where you had just a little bit of fat on your body. Wherever you got the least amount of fat, it's all melting at the same time. The least amount of fat 
they're since they're all going away at the same amount of time, that's going to be the parts where you notice it the most at first. The areas with the medium amount of fat, that's going to take a little bit longer, a little bit longer before it becomes lean, and that's where you notice it. The area with the most amount of fat, which is the most amount of snow in our analogy, there was so much to begin with that it's going to take a lot of sunlight and a lot of heat for it to get all the way down till that pyre of snow is melted. If you've ever lived in a part of the nation where it snows, you know that wherever there's big snow drifts or wherever the truck made a massive pile of snow, that's always the last amount to disappear whenever you get one or two warm days. That's how your body works, okay? So it's probably starting to make sense now. Um, so that's, uh, that's basically how it works. Um, you can't do an exercise for an arm thinking, I'm doing an exercise so the fat here is going to disappear. Your body just knows that you're working a muscle. And that muscle, if you keep working it, it's going to become stronger because you're stressing it. Okay? If I'm stressing this muscle again and again and again, and every time I do a whole, whole bunch of tricep exercises, I've burned a total of 20 calories. My body in general knows it's burnt 20 calories. 25 calories so it is going to um, act accordingly how many calories did I burn during the course of a day how many calories did I take in it's not going to run straight to your arm and remove the fat from there so I'm hoping that gives some people a better understanding of how fat loss takes place wherever you got the least amount of fat that's where you're going to notice the, the first results of that area becoming leaner and looking better. Wherever you have the largest amount of fat, that is typically the last spot on your body to get all the way, remove that snow pile, to get it all the way down to where you want it to be. Um, another point I wanted to go over is this. Your body has an area where it feels the most comfortable, where, where it's balanced and where it's trying to get to uh, for weight based on uh, your bone structure, how how uh, big you are, your bone structure, how much muscle you got. The closer you are to where your body should be, if you're only 10, 15, 20 pounds overweight, it can often be put a, take it a little bit more effort to lose a given amount of uh, fat pounds because you're already kind of close to where you can be. So if this is any kind of motivation to people who are uh, well, way overweight than what they want to be, the more pounds you got to lose, the the quicker, uh, the larger amount of pounds actually will come off of you in a given amount of time. Meaning, um, you take someone who's 200 pounds overweight, the amount of pounds that they lose weekly and monthly is drastically bigger than the amount of pounds someone who's a little bit overweight loses monthly or weekly. If you've only steadily gained, let's say, 20 pounds of extra weight, and now you're suddenly trying to remove that, you might you might go uh, you might go on a regimen and find that you're only losing about a pound a week, maybe two, one to two pounds is common. So that 20 pounds of extra weight you got may be a good 10 or 12 weeks to remove it, and it's only 20 pounds. Now, if you're 300 pounds overweight, you're not losing one or two pounds a week. I've seen cases where a lot of people who are, you know, one, two, three hundred pounds overweight, they're dropping 10, 15 pounds, like 10 pounds every week. Uh, for the average person that, who's just standard overweight, the doctors are, and the experts will tell you it's healthy to lose one to three pounds a week, but you probably don't want to lose more. But this is dealing with someone who's like less than 50 pounds overweight. But like I said, if you are way, well overweight, like more than 100 pounds overweight, the more you have to lose, the more you will lose, like I'm reiterating, in a given amount of time. So that should be motivational. Because those people that only may have 10 or 20 pounds to lose, we're losing one pound here. And then days and days pass. And then later it's one. We're not losing five and 10 pounds a week. But hopefully that gives a better understanding of how fat is reduced from the body. Don't listen to any fly-by-night um, influencer, fitness influencer online. There were people that got one, two, three, five million followers. 
for some reason, maybe because they got the nice looks and maybe because their body is built good, but they barely even have a clue what they're talking about. And believe me, there's a number of them out there. But anyway, this is Eagle Out. Thanks for watching. Hit the subscribe button. Have a good day. Stay motivated.